Alright, big game ahead. Alright, I'm go. a big fan of the Daisy costume. I think it doesn't see enough love. I'm inclined to agree. Very inclined to agree with that. Oh, strong start from Coffee Rice. Ah, oh, I accidentally zoomed in. There's a troll in the stage, but we know that Catherine's counter hit game is particularly strong. Coffee Rex in friendlies has been getting hit by a lot of down smashes that he is not too happy with. <laughs> you know, I would be a bit upset if I was um if I was Peach and I wasn't like good at counter hitting. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That would be has there ever been a Peach who's like bad at counter hitting and somehow, you know, has strength outside of that aspect of her game. It's kind of, you kind of need it. Yeah. It's kind of what she does. The big thing is, like, if you're a Peach, you've watched Armada, and Armada's, like, the Bible oh God. for how you want to play that game. That, how you want to play that character, I feel. Something people still don't do as much as Armada did, I feel, was um, holding onto their shield till it's a tiny m and &M and really, like, angling it around and knowing how to lock every attack to the last possible set, really forcing, you know... I don't know, Forcing maybe, a grab. Though... Is, do you want to do that, or is it better to sort of like try and just roll out, hold on to keep your shield bigger for like for further exchanges? Maybe it's it's a, it is. depends on the matchup. I think if you're against Fox, you're gonna get clipped by a down air if you let that happen. Right. Because like the multi-hit moves are very effective against like a small shield. Yeah. Um, what about this Falco? But this Falco, it's it's you can feel a bit more safe in doing so because. In order for Falco to actually like capitalize off of poking, he has to be doing like this pressure where if he gets a four tilt or something and pokes his shield, it's not really going to necessarily lead to yeah, that. there's that. But it's more like um how you want to poke Peach is like you want to be doing like shine point blank short hop laser and then poke with that with the sure. laser, and then after the laser hits, it's like they break and then you uh you, you get to actually like get a like shine after that, right? Right. Um, ah, the Toad Recovery, it's the Catherine Classic. Yeah, you know, I was like, um, I was thinking like, Peaches just seems a bit worse to be in shield as opposed to just being floating uh, directly above the ground. Yeah. It just seems way worse. I was going to update the score, but I don't have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm based. I'm fucking based. I mean, I could set it up, but... But... Shmeh. Actually, no. The players are laughing. They're having a good time. I, I've decided, actually. Ready? <laughs> Go. Yeah, we might do a few sets. He said he wanted to play best five with you as well. I'll... Well, yeah, we're just going to do round robin, but no. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Like, we, may, we have four people here. We'll all play a set. We'll play several sets. And then I'll pack up and I'll go home and I'll play the VODs. It'll be a good time. Right. Um, so what I was going to do was this. You know, Catherine is a bit of a madman and will actually always pick the stage. Yeah, I... Wait, what? It, it took me a second to... Because yeah. she doesn't like FD, right? Nah. Um, it's just a bit crazy going here because... Yeah, you're gonna die really early. But how, how is this better than Founder Dreams in any respect? Um, what does Peach gain? I mean, Peach gets to at least kill a bit early as well. That's like one. That's one yes. handy dandy thing, right? But it's not like you're killing off the top, really. No. Which is like the big benefit. Eh? I'm not sure how much. And I mean, she should be killing from sort of like edge guards anyway, as opposed to like raw. Raw hits. Like. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's the edge guards that she likes because it's like the plat where the platform is on oh, the side. Oh, yeah, actually. I think that. Um, yeah, I think that could be a part of it. Like, I know really? that's like a big reason, like why some people go to the stage. Why Sheik is really good on the stage is like right. it's got that platform right next to the ledge. Yeah. Well, that was pretty important. Uh, is, ooh, nice. Sniped. Let's go, Kath. Huge. S -s -s Huge. Um, you know, I was wondering, is I feel like FOD is like a smaller, um, like has a smaller amount of space, like on the stage, compared to, um, yeah, compared to Yoshi's. 
Yoshi's. Yeah, I think that's Would true. Would that be true? Though, because the edges are slanted, it's a bit funky as well. I'm not actually... I'm not sure if that's true either, to be honest. It just seems it's like it's... Like, I think the camera's a lot tighter on FOD. Uh, so it just kind of seems that way. Yeah, I think you're right. Could be talking out of my ass, you know. That's a good thing about saying you could be right, is I'm not really committing to... Uh, <laughs> could be right. Yeah, it could, wait, wait, could wait, also wait, be completely wrong. Oh, yeah. but we wouldn't know that. Well, Catherine is... Apparently, JJ thinks Fox owns Beach on this stage, but Catherine has other ideas that, I don't know, she's certainly putting into practice here. Oh, see, look, Randall. That Randall into F Smash, that almost worked, and she doesn't get that on every stage. That's a Yoshi's exclusive. This is a certified hood classic. So, Catherine is now just daring, and it succeeded because that's how it works. So sorry. Look at this. Ready? You're gonna do it like the action and uh, put the numbers outside of the boxes? No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't no. be doing that. No. I will not be doing that, actually. I've decided. The action stream was very funny. Who won? Josh, man? Yeah, Josh. Josh did win. McLeod got second, though. Alright. Hey, did he take any games in the. I don't think he did. I don't think he did, sadly. Bomber. Maybe next time. I think the cloud's so good though. He is pretty darn swell. Oh yeah, did Catherine win that last game by the way? Uh yes. I'm going to assume so. Yeah, she did. I remember it now. There we go. Now, this stage also conventionally considered Fox favoured, but you know what? Catherine is just a monster. Oh, and she pulled a stitch, but you know, just throws it away. You know what I think? You don't see as much Fox domination on the stage as you used to. Well, it did used to be on Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, no, that was just absurd. That was a situation where Fox kind of had a stage that was, like, significantly better for him than most other characters yet, I think. Like, I don't know. It's unfortunate that Fox is so insanely good on so many of the stages. Because like, even if you're playing casually and just like, oh, we'll just have a fun romp on Foresight or something, it's like, Fox is probably really good there. It's probably good. I think, really I think really Yoshi good. is actually really good on a lot of stages. You know what? He actually is. Um, he just doesn't really care about... No. Like, ledge, no ledge, uh, big, small. It's all good. Alright, well, Coffee Rex was losing this originally, but he's like, uh, he's brought it back pretty strong, just... It makes such a big difference whether he gets hit by a down smash into 40% or something like that. There's a lot of these... A lot of situations where he's only taking like 3% each trade or something, or, you know, he's really winning a lot of the trades, and then just something big will happen. Oh, that was great, though. Alright. Really fast ledge dash out of just snapping the ledge out of... Alright, sweet. What's up, Kisman? Um. I'll wait and see. Busted. No, I, I mean. Oh, no, I should just play. Actually, I do have Marvel to play, folks. I don't know if that was Box Dash being busted. Ready? Go. Oh. Going for the chain grabs, potentially. But this does simplify Fox's punch game quite a bit. He ledged straight through the tunnel. Yeah, but he had to like time the ledge dash to when he grabbed the ledge. It's like... Yeah, of course you can get Glyn with the controller. Like. <laughs>
I think the difficult part, I mean, it'd be one thing if it's like he's talking about his uh, consistency or something. I don't know, maybe he's more consistent at ledge dashes than a regular person. But I think being able to get it with the tight timing upon grabbing a ledge, that's just... I don't know. I, I don't think that is that, that much easier in right angle. It's like... The, the difficult thing is recognizing, like... Trying to cut that distance really short. Anyway. Yeah, I agree it is only timing on box, but I don't think the input is particularly difficult. I'd say the timing is the actual, like, difficult part of it. Because if you do it too early, then you just, like, you can, you know, tournament winner, all kinds of things. Ooh. Koro's been playing really solid the last, like, two stocks of the Pokemon Stadium game, and then most of this game. Maybe jinxed it. Oh, that's a pretty decent recovery though. Dodge the turn and everything. <laughs> oh, J. Jeff. Yeah, it's literally not full length. Um, anyway. Yeah, the, the consistency is the one thing where I'll say I hate that with <laughs> Box Discord is just impossible to avoid, but. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you just like, you know, saying stuff and saying you're saying it. It's fun to talk about. I mean, people can't be too sensitive about it. Yeah, I. GG's. Alright. I'm down for whoever. Oh, I can pick. I'll fight you. Yeah. Couch, it's weakened you. <laughs>